1972, the Room 8 Memorial Cat Foundation, a nonprofit, was founded by Hetty L. Perry. Hetty named the Room 8 Memorial Cat Foundation after a cat named Room 8 that she had read about who was the mascot at a Los Angeles County Elementary School for 16 years. Before the current shelters in Riverside, California were built in the mid-1980s, Hetty, affectionately known as the Cat Lady of Pasadena, and her very patient husband, fed, nursed, groomed, and cared for unwanted and homeless cats in their private home. She worked very hard to make sure that she did the best for the cats. When she passed away in 1996, she left everything she had to the cats to ensure that they would still have a place to live. Room 8 is now run by a board of directors who make sure that Hetty's love for cats lives on. We have an aging donor base, a lot of them knew Hetty Perry, who has of course passed on. Right. It's, it's wonderful to let them know that they can leave this world and, and their animals will be taken care of. And it's, there's nothing fancy. There's nothing fancy about this place at all, but there is so much love. And, it, and they all do have a name, and yes. they all did come from a home. These aren't cats that came off of the street. These cats came from homes. Some, their owners have passed away and left us in their will, and we've picked them up and brought them here. Others, um, they went into assistant living, and that's where we did. Some, in, some have came from homes that were lost, but the majority of them came from older folks. That's mm -hmm. kind of what... That's where my passion is, to let somebody know before their days are gone here on this earth that their animals will be taken care of, and I will go and pick them up and bring them here. And that brings me to something that's kind of been one of the things I'd like to do. I would love to, to find uh, older people that maybe think I can't bring in an animal, even though it's so comforting to have an animal, mm -hmm. um, uh, and, and let them know you can have one of our older babies and, and they can spend the rest of their life with you. And if something were to happen to you, we take them back. We will take them back. We do have a lot, a lot of very adoptable cats, beautiful cats. We don't have kittens here, but they're, they're like maybe between five and eight years old, which th that's a really good adoptable age. So how many cats totally do you have? 75. Wow. And all, they're all spayed and neutered. Oh, oh yes. Really. We have no breeding. No breeding allowed. No fooling around, around you guys. No. <laughs> what we really are proud of is that it isn't a caged facility. You know, they're not in cages. They have this outdoor patio and they have their rooms, their indoor part. And, um,. Historically, we, what we've got here is a, a situation where we've got lots of land. We've got plenty of land out behind here. And if we had the money, we would just love to expand. You know, there's a really great need. There's a really great need. In a different way, perhaps, other than as a rest home, which this kind of is. And some of these cats are just too young to be resting. And that's why we'd like to find them homes.